Notes should be simple, but they're not, until now. Part 1, the Notion template tour. It is a free template, linked in the description. If you are going to download it, please just watch part 1 so you know how to use it. And part 2 is for the nerds out there who want to build it from scratch. Let's get into it. Welcome to Jot OS. This is the simplest note-taking template for Notion. So the first thing you're going to do when you download is to actually move this button here. So what you'll do is simply drag this button here to whatever your main dashboard is. The reason for that is we want to be able to take a note without seeing all of our notes. What we're doing is removing context switching. Let's say you have a hundred different notes here and you can see all of them. You're going to get distracted every time you want to take a note. So we're not seeing all of our notes as we take the note. So you'll just want this at the top of your dashboard. This idea also comes from the GTD framework where you want to be able to quickly capture, whether that's a task, a project, or in this case, a note. So in JotOS, we have three tabs here. We have archive, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you want to archive a note, you simply tick an archive, and then it will appear here under your archived notes. Then we have your notes with a filter and a sort. So what I'm going to do here is add a note. I'm going to call it blah, blah, because I have no creativity. And we're going to fill in the project here of project A. So I'll create project A here, and I'll click away. So now I have this blah, blah sitting under my notes here. Of course, this button here is sitting in your dashboard, like I said, and this notes database will be sitting here on this JotOS page. So the notes appearing here, if I add another one, blah two, and let's just say this is project B, create that, words, 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 click away, that note's been taken. As you can see, it's showing up here. So we're using filters and sort. So by default, it's sorting it by the oldest first, but of course, if you want to see the newest first, then you'll just change it to ascending to descending. And then we're seeing this blah two note sitting first. And this filter here is simply saying, don't show me the stuff that's been archived. Then the last tab here is by project. And what's happening is it's automatically toggling these and separating them by the different project it's relevant to. So here we can see all of project A stuff and here we can see all of project B stuff. And of course, anytime you create a new note, wherever you create it, note three, and we add project C words, Click away, as you can see, Project C has been added. This is the perfect beginner-friendly note-taking system for Notion. It's 100% free to download, linked in the description. But if you want to upgrade your Notion skills, then stick around now for part two, where we build it from scratch. All right, part two, let's build it from scratch. So here is our empty page, as you can see. So what we are going to do is forward slash gallery. And we're going to click on gallery view here. And what we're going to do is create a new database and click on new gallery. So this here is going to be your notes and this is going to have all of your different notes in it. As you can see, it's quite large. So what we're going to do is click on the three dots here and we are going to change the layout here from where the gallery is medium to small. Obviously, if you want, you can keep it medium or you can have it large, whatever you want. But I think small makes sense. And we're going to have the setting card preview page content here. That way we can see a preview of the note. So if I write blah, blah, blah here and click away, you can see the inside of this note here, blah, blah, blah. Now for this to not get overcrowded because we're going to end up having a lot of notes in here, we're going to want an archiving system. So we're going to click on the add property here. And here we're just going to do a simple checkbox. So you don't have to do a checkbox. I just think it's the easiest to make sense. Also by default, as you can see, we have this created property here. That's very useful, we won't change that. Now here by default, we also have tags. So what I'm going to do is just delete this in case you're not seeing that. Now for that tag property, there are a few different ways we could do this. We could either do a, another gallery here or a database. And this database here would have all of our different projects. And we would then link that project by doing add property and doing a relation and linking to it. So they're talking to each other. This is the way I've set it up in headquarters, my premium Notion template. I think it is the best way to do it. However, if you are reasonably new to Notion and you find relations and all of that stuff a bit overwhelming, we are going to do it the simplified version, which is just going to be adding a property here and doing a select. So the select here will be the relevant project. If you are more comfortable with Notion, then you might want to do a relation property. So in this project here, this is where you'll fill out all of your different projects. And don't worry, you don't have to fill them out now. You can always add them in as you're taking the notes. Now, as you see here, when I click, I am replacing it. So I've chosen for this property here to be a select. If you want the note to possibly appear in multiple different projects, then instead of having a select, you could do a multi-select. However, I will just keep a select now to make it easy. All right, so now I want to be able to know what project are the notes relating to before I click on them. I don't wanna to have to click on them in order to know, okay, this note here is to do with project A. So what we're going to do is click on the three dots. We're going to click on properties. And here we're going to say project. So now I can see this project here. What we're now going to do is right click on notes and duplicate. 
this here is now duplicating this view. So we're not duplicating the content inside. So this content here is still the same as this content. And here what I'll do is write archive. So if I tick in archive here and then click away, this example note now has been archived. However, it's still showing up here under notes. So what I wanna do is add some filters. So we're going to click on filter here under the notes and filter by archive. And we want it on here to be unchecked. So now it's no longer showing up under this tab. Whereas on the archive, we want to have the opposite filter. So I'll click on filter, click on archive, and here I want it to be checked. So now every note that's been archived will show up in here. So if we just do another one, he uses blah, blah, blah as an example too often, that's my note. Now that I have this note and I want to archive it, I can simply click on archive. Now there are three more steps. This notes here, what we want to do is sort by the time it was created. Now what we're going to do is right click on notes once again and duplicate. And what it will have done here is duplicated this sort and this filter here. As you can see, this icon here is showing up as blue. That means it has information in here. So it's the created and the archiving filter. So this here is the sorting and this here is the filter. So this tab here is going to be breaking it down by the project. So I'll move this now to the end. So now if I add a note, let's just say one and make this project A and then add another note two, and make this project B. What I wanna do is have these now separated by the different project. So to do this, we're going to click on the three dots and here we're going to click on group and here we can group by the project. So now I'm seeing all of project A's notes here and all of project B's notes here. And anytime we create a new project, it will separate it and add it underneath. So let's add a new one. Let's say this here is project C, add that note three, and as you can see, it shows up down here. Now the problem is we don't wanna be sitting with this JotOS page open because we'll be distracted looking at all of the different notes we've taken. So the last thing we want to do is create a button. And this button here, once clicked, is going to add a note to this database. Now, if you're new to Notion, you might be thinking, why would I need a button at the top of this page? Well, what you're going to do is actually drag this button here to your main dashboard. That way you can add a note without having all of your different notes open. It's a really useful system. So this here, I will call add new note, and then we can add an icon, of course, I'll just do the square. So what we're saying here is when the button is clicked, then we want it to, and now we have to tell it what we want it to do. What we want it to do is to add a page to. So these here are pages. Often Notion beginners kind of get confused. They're also known as items, and people call it different stuff, which might get confusing. So just like you would create a page like this in Notion, these here are pages in themselves. So what we want to do is add a page to, and here we're going to select the database, and it's going to be this notes database. And here what we could do is add specific properties by default. Now we won't want any specific ones, but of course, if you want a button up here saying a new note for project A, then here you could select the property of project and default have project A, for example. Now a common mistake I see is now people click on done thinking they've set it up. The problem with that is what you're saying is when the button is clicked, then add a page to notes. So then you'll just keep adding notes here. But what's happening is you're just adding pages. You need to first actually be able to take the note. So we're going to click on add action again. And here we're going to have open page. And now you need to select the page that you want opened. And of course, this is going to be the page that was added. And you can say, do you want it center peak? Do you want it side peak? Do you want it full page? Personally, I prefer center peak and now you'll click on done. So now this button is set up and you can now simply drag this to your page here in your side menu and it will add it to that page. It will appear on the bottom of that page so you can drag it to the top. So now you've set up from scratch a very simple and effective note-taking system in Notion. If you want to excel your Notion skills, then click on this video here, which is for my course, Productive with Notion. Or if you just want an all-in-one template, then click on this video here. Headquarters has over 2,000 users and a five-star rating. Click on this video here for the tutorial.